Hi, I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. A few months ago, I posted a video about an adjustable electrical box that you can install. Let's say you have a whole room gut and it's a new or a new construction. For future changes, you may change the wall surface, the finish on it. Uh, I got a lot of messages from people saying, well, that's all well and good, but I already have the old style electrical boxes in my walls and now I want to add something to it. Is there a way of simplifying that to extend the box out? There is, I'll show you what it is. What I have here is a PVC box extension. And what this is designed to do is a typical nail-on PVC box. This is designed to actually fit inside of the box below it extending out to, to make sure you cover up any of these spaces whether you put tile or another layer of drywall or wood and it'll actually extend out to the new finished surface giving you a nice mounting plate for your outlet. Whenever working with existing electric the first thing you need to know is to make sure that all the electric is off to this circuit. Uh, I've already done that, uh, checked it with a light and yes there are some times that the bottom plug will be on a switch and the top plug will be on a constant circuit. So just because the light goes off when you turn that switch off on the wall doesn't mean there isn't a constant hot running through this plug. So it's always best to make sure that you hit the circuit breaker off and make sure that this entire circuit is dead before beginning. When using this box extension, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do once the circuit's dead is to back these, this plug out of this circuit. You're gonna tilt this plug like this and slide it temporarily back into the box like that. Then whatever material you're gonna use, uh, in this case I, I picked up a three quarter inch piece of wood here to uh, replicate, let's say you're putting a wainscot on, but this will also work for tile, uh, drywall, half inch, five eighths, whatever. Then you cut your finished material, lining it up directly over top of the existing box. Then what you need to do is pull this back out again, take your box extension, slide it over the top of this fixture, and slide it into the hole. Now, here's a critical part. You see how these little tabs are catching on your new finished surface? You need to make sure you take some time cutting this hole out accurately so that this tab will actually hit over top of that surface. What that does is that fills that gap, that void from plastic to plastic with this inserting inside. Now, typically these come with an inch and a half extension screw. Uh, I always make sure I get some longer ones. In this case, I grabbed me some two inch ones because I know that three quarter is about at the max of, of uh, the box extension. So what you do at this point is you take this screw, you slide it through here, through the box extension, back to the existing box. It might take you a second or two to line up with the existing hole. Once you slid the box extension in, then you went ahead and put the receptacle in front of it. Run the screws through that, through the box extension, into the existing box. It's a, maybe a little bit of a pain in the butt to get them to line up because you're kind of working blind, the screw's about two inches long and you're going up and down trying to find the right hole. But once you get it started, which just take your time and get it, go ahead and tighten these up and you're ready to put the plug cover back on. Put this box in extension in place, which is actually slid into the box behind it. It gives us a nice solid surface for mounting our, uh, our plate cover back on so that this box won't move, it won't push in and out, it won't go side to side. It'll be nice and tight for your, your new finish and there's no open gaps around the edges where air or anything else can infiltrate. So there you go. At this point, go ahead and simply turn the circuit breaker back on. Give your plug a test. Make sure that everything's hooked up still and nothing came loose and uh, you're good to go. Uh, one more note. If you get into this box, if this is an older box, I know that this was a newer wiring type setup that I showed you here. If you get into this box and you find old cloth wiring and it looks deteriorated even a little bit or you see anything in there that looks like it's a potential short problem or something that you just can't get into, like maybe there's other wires running through this box that 
make it a little bit too complicated or there's not enough slack to pull the, the plug out, call a qualified electrician. There is no sense in the world for something as simple as this to potentially cause a fire in your house. But if it's nice and clean looking and it's pretty close to the, what I just showed you here, I wouldn't hesitate to give it a shot. I'm Bob Schmidt with Home Remodel Workshop. Thanks for watching. See you soon.